That's new. When was okay, Sarah Bergen going to start with Mossad? Okay, John, Listen, please. Forget about the assassination team. Right, it's kind of an aside, really, isn't it? No, it's not. It's no, it is an aside. The problem is that in Iran, you have a huge middle class declining that was used to the Shah and all the rest. You, it's, it's a normal country in a lot of ways. And when you demonize it, you don't really help yourself. John, that's... And John. Don't you, you don't really help yourself. It. We're not demonizing Iran, we're demonizing the regime. We know Iran no, you is are the most pro-Western Muslim country. We know Iran is the most pro-Western Muslim country. We know Iran is the largest middle class. We know Iran has the most highest educated uh, po population. We also know Iran has the greatest dictatorship in the Muslim world. Well, right. No, but yeah, Saudi Arabia say, pales. There are no, a bunch of Keystone so, cops. So what is your plan, actually? You want to nuke Iran and kill all those dissidents well, who represent? I would, I would send what would you do, actually? Yeah, what would you do, actually? Well, we have to question I would assassinate the leadership and let let the revolution come from the people. Uh, well, okay. I have a question. Uh, that's what they just tried. I have to get Marita a chance. Well, listen, we listen. We'll I hear from Marita. Question to bring it back to the original question about Israel and peace settlement. There's obviously a big new dynamic in play in the Middle East, Iran, and that's a every day that that continues to go on that, that that becomes a bigger and bigger issue. How does that play with a, some kind of peace?